Hello everyone, this is Alanon, and welcome back to Fire Emblem 7, The Blazing Sword. In the last episode, we met Dorcas and his wife, we got him to join our group, and at the very end, we ran into more bandits and two characters. Two kind of funny characters. Um, excuse me, hello. Why are you fighting these bandits? It just happened. <laughs> you got us into a terrible situation. Now, how are you going to get us out? Kirk, go and help these ladies. My name is Sarah, and this is my escort, Eric. Sigh. His name is Irk. I think he's been hurt. I am Irk's employer. Master, I suppose you could say. What I'm getting at is, I was thinking of healing him free of charge. I know, I know. I'm generous to a fault. <laughs> So, as you tell from that little dialogue sequence, Sarah is a priest, basically a cleric. She could heal characters if they're in uh, range of her. Hmm. I'll just stay here. Attack. Yeah, he's got a uh, spells and. Unlike archers, you can't talk and you can't attack in melee range. Wizards can, or mages can, but their defense is insanely low. So you don't want to let them get hit. Okay. Send Kent up here. Yeah, you could kill this guy. Oh, so close. Start moving them up. Dorcas can't really move far. Send Mr. Crusher up here. We'll say there. Three damage. Nice. We will let Orina. Take this guy out. I use a slim lance just because it's more accurate, and honestly, it's better to use up charges of that than anything else. Okay. Go to this house here. Magic? Oh, it's just, this guy's just telling us about magic. Thanks, old man. We already knew all that. Dudes have death wishes if they want to attack Kent and Sin. Look at her higher level than Lynn now. Strength and defense. Oh man. Oh, we picked up an iron sword. Excellent. Oh, yeah, I, I don't think I really went over this, but if you look at a character, an enemy's inventory, if they have something that's like glowing or like blue and glowing, that means they'll drop it. Of is it here? Tell me, are you? Yes, I'm using the R button. Ah, 
Well, these are tutorial people, not gift givers. I don't care. Yeah, you go screw yourself. Freaking racist. Level six. What level? Oh, okay, she's level five. That's not too bad. I uh, don't really want to move her. Ah. We'll peel Florina. This way, uh, Sarah gets experience. It's really hard to get experience as a as a priest priestess. It's like insane. Okay, I can't quite. Get to him, so I'll wait there. Send Dorcas through the woods in the mountain. Same thing with Urk. Oh, I have the Monikati out! Well, that's a waste of a charge. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's two charges got down the drain. Ah, she has weapon level increase. That's fine. Only did two damage because of the high defense. Okay, where do we want to move? She has a steel axe. He's level nine. Uh, he's full up on items. He's not, so we'll move him to the armory. Ooh, a javelin. Javelins are kind of like hand axes. Uh, they are ranged. Oh, just this dude on. Is he on mountains? Oh, he is on mountains. Um. Uh, Willow's gonna lose this archer off. Where can this guy go? Okay, so Florina is safe here. Trade. Uh, she can't really use any of that stuff. But I'll still give her. Yeah, I'll still give her a sword just so that they each have room for a javelin still. Okay. So to talk to that house. Well, not talk to those, but go to the house. <gasps> oh my god. What did I do? Oh. Because I moved that. Because I moved. She was able to go down there and attack for- Oh. I'm so lucky you didn't get a crit. Holy crap. First off, we will heal. Get some more experience. Yeah. Time for some payback. Holy crap. No strength. Oh, you're so bad. But is, he has a javelin, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're basically telling us to be careful with our money, but javelins are pretty good. Oh, we don't have any... We actually don't... Wait. Damn. Oh, well, actually, let's make do with one javelin. Oh, Dorcas gets a level. 
strength, speed, ooh, him getting his speed increase, wow. Can't kill him with the Monikati unless I get a crit. I'm going to wait a turn. Nice! Dorcas is a beast. Okay, I can kill him now. This guy wins a 7%... Oh no. The Hulk could get a crit. This guy only a 7% chance to hit me, but if he hit me, I would have died. Another level up for Lin. Yeah, I kind of like to have the main character get the kills on the bosses. No strength? Ugh. Healing powers amaze me. What an absolutely delectable creature. What a lot lyrical name. I'm in service to Castle Kaelin. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> that little girl across the border? Lynn arrives in the land of her mother's birth. Asia is a federation of territories, each one ruled by a powerful Marquess. Now Lynn takes her leave of one of those territories, Arafin, and sets out to meet her grandfather, the Marquess of Caelan. However, the Marquess's brother, Lundgren, hungers to rule Caelan. He is preparing a deadly welcome for Lynn, who stands to threaten his grasp for power. Chapter 6, Blood of Pride. Do, 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 do. What city is this? This? This is Arafin. After Ostia, it's the second biggest city in Lycia. Second biggest city, or the second biggest tomb, doesn't s seem awful busy. By the way, where's Kent? Said he was going ahead to the castle, but, ah, here he comes now. Don't be silly. <laughs> Weird all those green people look the same except that one dude. This is terrible, the castle's burning, what? Smoke from the castle, hey. Mounted Archer. Oh, he's a badass.
I thought of Sake and Plant Zone was being attacked. I was mistaken. No, you were right, I am from Sake. I'm Lin, the daughter of the Lorca Chieftain. I am Wrath of the Kutola. What are you doing in my house? Peace, I'm no danger to you. Your home offers a good view of the battle outside. Look, I'll pay you for the pi privilege, please. You got vulture waiting for the spoils, eh? Terrible. Hey up! I'll be hiding below, so don't bother me. underground tunnel leading to the throne room. There are triggers in the barracks that are open the tunnel. There are three triggers though. Do I have any keys? Okay. Let's check out this guy. He's got an iron lance. He's got an iron sword. Also an iron sword. We actually outnumber the enemy for once. Anyway, there are these doors. And I think if we kill some of these guys, they might have keys or whatever. But, there is another way. I think this might be the first optional character, but we need this dude. Um, but anyway, that's a problem for next time. Next time on uh, Fire Emblem, we save Arafin's Marquess. We kick some soldier ass, because he's technically probably not really banned. It's probably just soldiers that are going rogue. But, till next time, thanks for watching, everyone. Out on out.